Okay, when I enlarged the picture to show you the entire website, how it looks on the screen, you can see bits and pieces here that actually are parts of my application for recording. This is so that one disappeared, but there's the blue one on the right that's still there. These are my tools to record the screen. Okay, one more trick. When the website is not listening to you, okay, what you can do is as follows. This is just too big, so you can actually play with the layout. The videos made it unbearably big. So I'll just click here in the middle on any of, of these squares. I'll go back to the layout and I can actually make it into a three column. And let's see what will happen. I'll click save. Oh, that's better, isn't it? In fact, it is so good that I'm thinking of actually pushing this newsletter more to the right completely. In the, so I click on the edit. In the past, you could actually, um, you had shortcuts to do that. You could actually push it like, oh, I could push it again. Oh, this is so cool. I just did that by clicking on it. You see, by clicking on it and just shoving it like this. Okay, well, let's have a look where it really works. Click Save. Beautiful. So this is our website so far. We haven't corrected yet this bit, but we've got plenty of room now. We can, we've got our news, we've got this thing, and in the middle, we can put a video about ourselves, so um, whatever we would like to actually have here. Um, we could have a list of our of the things that we want to do or whatever. Let's, let's, okay. Why don't we just create a list? Because creating a video is very simple. So what you do, you see how this cursor is not listening. To, oh yeah, not listening to me, but it doesn't matter. You can just by going to the sites, th um, editing tools, you can decide where you want the cursor. So it will go where you want it to be. Okay, if I wanted a video, insert video and it will be here right so you already know it so we want to do something else we want to create a list remember how on my website that i created for our students i have a list of members so how did i do that again what i did was go here create new page let's call it uh, what will we call it um e-learning resources e-learning resources um, okay and what we wanted to do it, we don't want it to be a page we want it to be a list so let's go on list put on top of a our, just under the home page so you put it you you you, in, you uh, click on put page at the top level create so where is it? E-learning resources is at this very moment above my PD newsletter. This is not very good, right? I don't want it. I'm, I want my newsletter to be above. So what I do, you no longer have to delete this page and uh, worry about it. What we can now do is call it differently. So let's call, let's click on edit, go here. And what can we call it to be after the letter M? Um, resources dash e learning cool because then it's actually even better because then you can have other resources so you have resources and then you will call whatever the resources are differently okay so we have resources e learning let's save it now the template we have to so just to prove it to you the point if I click uh, control re, uh, refresh control R for control and refresh resources has moved down that's exactly how I wanted it to be okay use template we want to actually create our own template for resources did you see what I did I clicked I don't want their temple templates I want our own use so we will say author not always is you um, we want it to be text. You could have made it a URL and put someone's websites there. Someone, someone's websites are URL. Column, we will call it activity. 
um, we make it capital letter and we want it what uh, just the name so it will be text add a column we call it link or URL so here in order for it to be a link to a, an online resource we just select URL we're happy with it first sort by the name of the author okay we're happy with it we would be even happier if we spelled activity correctly okay we can save it and now it is very very simple you add item you say lion Anya activity um, text construction uh, for beginners or whatever we didn't actually create enough columns to specify whether it's for beginners and other things web address well let's uh, think I mean let's see how I'm unclicking then again clicking control uh, and then I'm going to control C for copy which is copy so where's our website here I'll just put any address it doesn't really matter because this is just and we call it we'll just say click for the activity okay save it and look what happens we have our list but now what we want to do is to have this list to have this list visible on our home page so we go back again to edit the, the page we're now in the middle here now I'm not sure whether it's such a happy thing to do because our list is very short but then this is just to show you how to work with things because if you actually don't like it you can change the layout of the website so let's have a look insert recent list items because it was a list we created oh there they are resources e-learning it has come up ah oh, you see what's happening if we don't uh, if we want the table to fit in our small screen small square we don't have to show all of them so maybe what I will do I'll just remove the author just from this particular uh, window and just leave two things um, I'll just leave room here for 20 but we only have one uh, we call it what will we call it e learning resources now we can call it whatever we want to because it's in uh, it's no longer the name of the page it's just the name of a uh, list okay save and let's have a look how it looks now look at that isn't it cool here's something you can actually write about yourself here's here are your e-learning resources here's your uh, PD news right and events so just on your home page already you can have some all the things that you have in the menu you can actually display through your home page isn't it cool I think it is okay I'll try to do now something with this left side 